So a couple of years ago I made a tutorial on how to export animations and models from Dota with Source Filmmaker. Uh, but there's also another method uh, that sometimes is more useful. So uh, I'm using VRF, a program, and I will uh, put the link in the description. And what we're going to do is we're going to open. Uh, so we're going to go to the uh, Dota folder. And then scroll all the way down. Pack zero underscore dear fpk we're gonna open that it will take a while depending on how good your computer is and now if we for instance want a courier in my case let's do uh, scotty So we're just gonna look for Scotty. And we're looking for the folder with the actual VMDL. So not this one, we're gonna go to this one. Uh, and we have the flying and the normal penguin. So what we're gonna do, decompile and export. And we're gonna save. And it will decompile it to a GLTF file. So now if we uh, look in the folder, we have Scotty, uh, bin file, GLTF file, and the textures. So what we can do now is open Blender. So now we open Blender, delete the cube, like always, go to import, GLTF 2.0. And now if we import it and we look at the textures, we see that we have the imported Scotty. So one thing with this method, what I've noticed in Blender is that spe uh, specular is uh, not the right way of doing this. So of course, look up some tutorials on Blender shading, but in my case, I'm just gonna turn specular off. And if we go back to the layout, we can even see that if we go to Scotty armature, that we have all the animations that are in there. So if we go to animation, action editor, and now we can just say, okay, we want the run animation. And now we have the run animation in Blender. So this is how you export, for instance, the courier. So what if you wanna export one of the heroes? So we. Uh, then to models, heroes, uh, and let's do hookwind. Here we have it. Oh, wrong one. Here we have it. And here you can see that this hero is made of several VMDL files. So what we're going to do, we're going to decompile and export them all. And now we open Blender again. We're gonna make a new one. And now we're gonna import GLTF. And now we're just gonna select all of the different GLTF files that we exported from VRF. And then wait a minute for it to load.
and here we have the character but as you can see only a couple of things are moving uh, that has to do because all the uh, animations are in hoodwink vmdl and all the extra assets so like the tail the sharpshooter and things like that uh, those are not bound to the same skeleton with the animations so first i'm just going to delete the things that i'm not going to use in this example so the tree model for instance Uh, sharpshooter, yes, I'm gonna delete that. Uh, projectile model, I'm gonna delete. Uh, the hood we're gonna have, the crossbow we're gonna have, the costume we're gonna have, the acorn rope we're gonna delete, acorn model, and the knot we're gonna delete. In this case, if you need it, you can still use it. So, what we do have to do now, if we click on hoodwink and we look at the different values of the rotation, skill, and dimensions. Uh, take good note of it. Uh, it's pretty easy to remember. Um, so now if we want to have this hood going to be tied to the same hood wink, we're first going to delete the armature. And we're gonna the values that I just showed you, we're just going to fill those in. So 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5, and then the scale is a 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025. All right, so now let's get another animation just to showcase. So now I've set it to a different animation to showcase this better. You will see that Hootwink itself is moving, but all the different assets are not. So what we're going to do after uh, I've set the different rotation and scale function, I'm going to click Hootwink Hoot first and then Hootwink VMDL and press Control P. And uh, in this case, and sometimes you just have to go back uh, back and forth to see what the actual developers did. In this case, I know it's going to be the armature deform that's going to set the right things for the hood. So now if we see the animation, we see that the hood is actually animating with it. Uh, costume we're also going to do. So first we're going to delete the armature. We're going to set the rotation to 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, to 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, and the scale to 0 0.025 and now we're going to do the same but in this case because I already did this model uh, once before we're just going to set with automatic weights because that's how the developers did it so now we can see that the actual costume is also animated with Hoodwink and let's do the other two as well so the crossbow, we're going to rotation 0 0.5. And we're going to do the same. And I think in this case it was also with automatic weights. Yep. And then the tail. And this one on top of my hat was also with automatic weights. So now if we play the animation, we see that we have the full animation with all the different things. And if we go back, you see we have the same issue as that we have with Scotty, that it's too specular. So if we just gonna click the different slots,
there you have it. That's how you export a hero with animations, not using Source uh, Filmmaker.